Today we're going fossil hunting, me, my dad and my brother. Hopefully we'll get a few nice finds and at the end of the video we have a stunning set of ichthyosaur jaws to have a look at as well. So it should be a pretty good video. Hope you enjoy it. It was incredibly windy at this location, as you can probably tell. When it's windy, it's always very important to stay well away from the cliffs. You should always stay away from the cliffs in any case, but especially when it's windy, little pieces of shale that break off, rather than falling straight to the foot of the cliff, it could be blown quite far out and even hit you from a distance away from the cliff. So always stay as far away as you can. There was quite a few nice little fossils around here, on top of the slabs of shale. This one in particular was quite obvious and easily seen. Here you can see where there's been pretty large cliff fall. Just goes to show how often the cliff is falling. This fall looks relatively fresh, probably only happened a few weeks or months prior to us coming down. And another cliff fall is always around the corner. Here me and Shay came across a pretty large nodule and just at the edge of it there was a really worn ammonite. Most likely, the fossil inside was going to be crushed and not fully preserved. That's just the way it is with these types of nodules. But we thought we would try and open it up in any case, just on the off chance. This nodule was filled with fractures and had been sat around on the beach for quite a few years, most likely. The nodule fell apart pretty easily, just with using a few taps of the hammer with our chisel, and the contents of the rock were revealed. Once we got inside of the rock, it was a partial ammonite specimen, but one that was pretty poorly preserved and not worth taking or repairing on this occasion. in this one if you would like one of your own smaller nodules to open up at home which are guaranteed to contain ammonites please just message my brother on his instagram page and he will get back to you as soon as he can thank you very much in advance for supporting our page aha oh. after all that it's absolutely perfect
here I came across a piece of wood which had been getting eroded for quite some time and it very easily just came loose when I applied a little bit of pressure to it. That's the case with the majority of fossils that are exposed for quite a while. Once the tide gets to them, they often break up pretty quickly and are lost to the sea. If you find anything of particular interest, it's important to take it home and look after it and get it preserved. If it's anything of particular interest, then reporting it to a museum would probably be the best idea. Here's another piece of wood that we noticed. Uh, this one is quite interesting in the sense that it's got pretty random fossil preserved at the very end of it. It's quite difficult to tell what it is at first, but it's actually a fossilised coprolite, or fossil faeces, preserved at the end of this piece of wood. It's pretty unusual, and I don't think I've seen that before. See it just there. Here's part of a crinoid, or crinoid, fossil. It's a pretty nice example, and I will explain a little bit more about these in a future video. Now we're going to have a look at the ichthyosaur jaw. This is by far one of our favourite. It was one that we found about three years ago. Me and my dad found it together whilst out on a fossil hunt. And the same day he found a really large nautilus fossil. We haven't prepared the nautilus fossil yet. When we do, we'll be sure to show that. This jaw is by far one of our favourites because of the quality of the bone and mainly because of the teeth preserved inside the jaw. 
the teeth are almost all in place. However, there are a few teeth below the lower jaw which have been pushed out whilst it's been fossilised. We're also lucky enough to have another piece that attaches onto the end of this jaw to make it a little bit longer. So certainly in a future video, I will show the fossil with that piece attached as well. The overall fossil isn't quite finished yet. It needs a little bit more preparation, but even as it is now, it's really something quite incredible to look at and even more incredible to hold it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's any other videos you would like, just let us know in the comments. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.